Hello and <laughs> welcome back to the Reapers and we hope you're doing beautifully well on this Saturday evening. Okay, um, I've had a day off mission making and trashes, we're doing trashes search and rescue mission today. Um, so I literally know nothing about it, so Trash, you want to give us a quick backstory, what's going on? Yeah, no sweat. So here we go, situation. The country of Redistan has been governed by dictatorship for several decades, as it does. A civil and peaceful uprising in the southwestern province of Pinkland was brutally suppressed. The atrocities committed by Redistan's internal security forces and military echelons led to an intervention of coalition forces based on a UN Security Council mandate. Subsequently, Pinkland has declared independence. The loss of Pinkland, however, leaves Redistan landlocked without direct access to its former only all-year free deep water harbour of Pink City, which accidentally is Batumi. This situation is used by the Redistan dictatorship to project its internal economic problems caused by cross mismanagement and corrupt structures on Pinkland to gain support for military action in its population in order to support military action to reunite the Great Redistan. When the UN mandate expired, the UN forces had to leave Pinkland. Redistan promptly upped the aggressive posture and pushed toward, uh, pushed forward along the main line of communication from the Red Capital to Pink City along Lock Eyes, which is the major route running on our map from Tiplisi to Batumi. The small Pinkland Protection Force was able to hold the initial push by Redistan forces short of Pink City. In order to secure and achieve gains, Redistan has established a forward operating base, as indicated on the map, and a fire support base, as also indicated on the map, while building up forces for the final push through the weak Pinkland defenses. EWR and SEM sites have been established in order to prevent any international intervention from the north to cover the crucial lock ice. Alien missions, however, have confirmed the EWR and SEM locations. Um, blue. Based on a new UN, UN Security Council resolution, slowly a new coalition is forming to support Pinkland. Soft teams have been inserted to provide intel on the Redstone forces built up along lock ice. One team has been compromised and it's on the run. They are evading to an emergency pickup zone uh, indicated on the map. The team called Sign Ghost was initially able to break contact, but is compromised again and is calling for an emergency extraction. Sigand indicates an armored convoy is leaving the FOB to hunt for the soft team, along with infantry leaving the fire support base on the hill down towards the LC, which is pretty close by, but just about not into indirect fire range of the artillery up the mountain. Grim Reapers are, only the, they are currently the only effective force in the area operating from Sunaki and then from FOP Pink City. The task, primary task, Grim Reapers are to extract call sign ghosts. Uh, they are on 243 megahertz as soon as possible. Uh, the bulls or sadded, if you like, is indicated on the map. The secondary task is to neutralize Redistan's FOB and fire support base and any forces that you have on lock ice. Now to get this done, we need to take a grip on the SA-6 close to the landing zone as well as on the SA-8s that Eland have confirmed operating in the fire support base. Also you can expect Red fighters to launch immediately once they get the telephone notice from the Batumi that the force is heading towards the special forces extraction to launch from the Tiplisi area towards the area to give us a hard time essentially. So initially my plan is to fly the shuttle towards Batumi, arm um, up if you want, it's possible, then launch the shoppers, get the rest cap into position to block anything coming into the overhead of the fire support base landing zone the areas and as soon to take out the SA-6 and the SA-8s, if they want they can take out the further SA-6, as further they venture towards the east you will find SA-10s and it gets harder. Uh, once we have recovered the, or the uh, four-man team from the uh, landing zone, uh, choppers will head to Batumi and the remaining ground, air to ground aircraft are free to raise the FOB. That's about it. Roger, right, so Ghost is at Buza, yes? Affirm. Roger. Yeah. Um, so stage one is to ferry from Sunaki to Batumi, yes? Affirm. Roger. Uh, we've got a recover ghost, that's fine. No respawns after takeoff at MOB. What's MOB? 
main operating base we Batumi essentially okay so yeah so after we leave Batumi and start the fighting no respawns that's all standard Reaper stuff um, the second picture if you like um, uh, the second of three pictures is that showing that showing the, uh, uh, the ghost on the left there isn't it in that little clearing and um, it's showing the FSB on the right of it is that right Yes, That's it firm. so it's a, a mountain top uh, with the highlighted um, coordinates. On the right-hand side, you see the S, uh, two S one artillery pieces and a command post. Mm -hmm. And on the left-hand side, hopefully they are under cover. Should be the special forces team. It's about nine hundred meters away through the woods downhill. So there's no direct fire solution for the people on top of them. Roger, it's picture three of three is the forward operating base. Yeah. Roger, can we just quickly go through the SAM type? So we, we all know what a SA-6 Cub is. We know the range of it. I'm 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 a little hazy on what an SA-8 Gecko is and what an SA-9 is. Can we go through them quickly? Yeah, of course. Uh, the SA-8 Gecko is a radar optical guided uh, short range defensive system, comparable to Roland, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, they fire pretty fast, uh, but you can get below the mountain tops to dodge the missiles if you have, but I wouldn't play around with it too far if you get the lock signal. Right. The SA-9 Gaskin is essentially a trailer uh, on a mounted chassis, on a BRDM chassis, and it fires infrared missiles. It's more or less a trailer projector. And SA-9 is a late version of Strela, so it can fire from a frontal aspect, as I remember. Oh, uh, now you got me. Uh, actually, it might be. I think it might be a rear aspect only, and SA-13 is a front aspect. Okay, fine. So these are big defences, guys. These are a lot more than they usually put. So you're going to have to sort your ingress out in your teams as how to defeat those SA-8 geckos because flying in an, in a Harrier and hoping for the best is probably going to mean you're going to die. Um, okay, that's fine. Right, guys, do you want to uh, start answering whatever questions you need to ask? Do we have any kind of idea what kind of reaction uh, Air to Air Force is going to engage in? Uh, yes, well, they, we know now, we oh, are making this up on the go, uh, we know that there are flankers available in small numbers and MiG-23 floggers. Um, they might even throw some old stuff at us later. But they take some time and we should get a warning from the AVAX from our side. Uh, also, I like the A-10s because it's usually their missions, uh, at least a pair of them. Once they've cleared and make their way to the landing zone to identify the team, which will you probably use green smoke, which is the color. If they run into infantry on the way down, um, they should mark the enemy infantry with an appropriate color, and you could see it and then waste. Question about overall Try. strategy, guys. Are we, do we want to take these bases in a sequence, a FOB, then S FSB, or do we want to everyone goes at once to their particular target? I suggest we leave the FOB alone initially because it's a secondary target. Mm -hmm. uh, the of BTRs, one of the hunter teams is leaving from there along Lock Ice, so that is a, a target. But uh, is, I think it's mandatory to take out the SA-8s and the SA-6 close to the landing zone first, and then the choppers and the A-10s can do the rest over there. And as I said, once we have recovered the the team, the uh, FOB is fair game. Roger. So priority is SA-6 slash FSB slash overall cap as a priority. Hey, fair. Cool. Easy. So we're going to need both infrared and radar suppression. So that means we can do our job with the radar guided, but we're going to have to have somebody on station for the... Uh, the How would you suppress it? Raw? Raw? Well, yeah. the raw can Epoch take... Mavericks. Uh, yeah, Mavericks, or if we're going to take 25 Ts, uh, we have laser guided. We can... Well, if we get the launch, we should see the smoke trail and then try to waste the launch site. And uh, if you're lucky, you can... Not it. <laughs> do we know, do we know what the unit composition is at the EWR SA6 sites? So it just launches track radars in the EWR? They have a search and track radar and I believe around uh, four to six launches on the Right, yeah. Um... We could use some uh, wild weasling to just uh, scout the SA-8s out. Thing is, Tao, it's, 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 it's not a normal Reaper's mission where it's going to last an hour. This is going to last a long time. And if any kind of 
any cra crazy would... flying is going to get you killed right away, and you're going to have to sit there for yeah. two hours. Yeah, and I guess I guess that I would recommend the Harriers bring Mavericks, and uh, and let the twenty five Ts take out all the radar stuff. An element then, of an element of uh, Hornets, or even just tail and a few Harriers can help out with wheeling. Just put the Sams on your three nine line. Just you know, sit around. Have to have the Sam shoot at you. Go cool. right. that. That's why I say SAH, Mavericks. you can sit at twenty five thousand feet and drop GBUs on them. SA eight is not true. difficult to deal with. Well, no, but SA six is an issue, though, isn't it? How many SA sixes? C twenty fives will go up first, I'd reckon, and pick off yeah. the SA sixes mm -hmm. with long range shit. Then have the Harriers with some Mavericks or GBUs to go in and search out anything kind of shorter ranged or the uh, IR stuff. But they, I think the IR stuff's only in the fob, isn't it? Do any of these Sams have the capability to shoot down the incoming missile? Nope. Nope. Uh, no. It's the thirteens that are going to give us a, a hassle if we can't find them quick. Yeah. So, the the T's will take out. We don't have to worry about radar at all. We'll take care of the radar stuff. But it's I'm more worried about the the infrared it's stuff getting SA nine oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. So for for the recovery team and the guys protecting the helicopters, if you look at the uh, second picture. You can actually see that you can operate below the skyline. There is no direct fire solution into the landing zone as such. So also the SA-8, if not already taken out, all the status use cannot shoot in there. However, if you go above the mountain, you'll be there. Yeah, so long as we stay low enough, we're good. So for the helicopters, stay low coming out of the valley, that should be all right. And even the right. A-10s or whoever's operating there could operate in the valley. But it's it channels your so approach. For the for the chopper tactics, should they head north and take the river to the FSB? What I suggest, we stay north of the uh, lock where the FOB is on in the mountains, in the valleys, and then drop down into the north running valley just short of the ridge line with the LC. There should, as long as we stay away from the road and the FOB and the FSB themselves low, we shouldn't be able to be targeted. Unless red fighters show up, then yeah, it's uh, black front. That's the other thing is, if we try to get these SAMs down as quick as possible, that will allow blue air to air to be able cap. to have a lot yeah. more Send. cap. No, oh, sorry, cap. You know, mm -hmm. air support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah, the cap. Yeah. You need to change your name. It's making it confusing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you call him Captain cap. Fantastic. We'll call him okay. Wirecap. Kappa. Well, captain. captain, my captain. Okay, so captain T's in. Fabulous. Are, then then mm -hmm. Aircap, right? Yep, we'll be we'll have group one of Aircap uh, protecting those T's. Flying with you pretty Wait. much. Then Harriers. Roger, and we'll do GPU T-Pod search. Roger, and the F-18s will go up with the Harriers. Right, let me do the groups thing quickly. Hammer are the Eagles. Wish the side for Tail Graham. Sword are the Hornets. Rage, Rook, Chaos, Supercap. Saber are the Hueys. Trash, Dove, gar Garbage. Okay. Dagger is the Jump Jets. Atomic Static, Gumba, Shifty. And Red Eye is Mixed, Cast, Slash, Seed. Uh, got JD, Papa, Caesar, and Ral. Okay, all units, you are free to take off in your groups. Once you're up, these be vectored to sea. We'll be flying as a ferry, so get with the lead, red eye, and don't overtake them, please. I'll see you at the Kuni. Uh, 
One breaks off. And four power. to uh, lose some altitude lead. Yeah, Roger, let's do it. Roger, coming off ATC, bring the power up. I'm gonna bring it up to 95. I sure it's 25 out. And it's off on our 
Blue left there. Flight check left, 1 3 5. Third man's place on the right. Roger. Alright, Cap, I'm behind you, coming up on your right. Breaking the order that we're placed in, so it'll be um, lead, then Rook, then Cap. Hey, Bob. Roger. Roger. Alright, bring the nose back up. Uh, 
of all traffic. Which direction are we landing on this uh, runway? Get that big one out of the way. Tiger 3 finals, 1 3. Carriers run long, you got a fast mover behind you. See if I'll move quick because you're going to get hit. Have it too, runway vacated. See if I was good, see if I was good. Take a free vacating runway. Send that F-15 round way too far. Get that F-15 to go around. Good God, what was that? Tried to break the sound barrier there on his landing. I'm right down with you. I had the same thing happen with the A-10 on the last mission. I set the flaps, or at least I thought I did, but they never deployed. Quick to land, runway 13, slow it down. Sniper, that's 
Oops. Atomic, be aware, there's probably a crater on the one way. Roger. Damn it. Copy him. Okay, all units, once you've rearmed and refueled, uh, get back to runway in previous order, please. Okay, all flights have uh, refueled, rearmed and repaired when need be. Please now go up in your flights and get on mission. Good luck to everyone.
Cap, you want to take the left side since you fly a tater formation on me? Roger. Slow left turn. We're going to an echelon right. We'll be able to uh, break off in twos if we need to. Okay guys, so if I lock a blip on my radar screen, uh, is there any way on the radar screen to tell whether it's hostile or friendly? No Cap, on your HUD it's going to come up the target you locked and you're going to have to give it a bit because that's like how the real life one is and it's going to be either a square or a diamond and if it's a friendly or an enemy it'll switch to the other one or it'll stay at what it is. Diamond is hostile, yeah? Yes. And I'd recommend 4B for your scan and 80 degrees. It seems to bug out when it's at 140. 80, Roger. Targets. Um, I've got a bunch of blips on my radar on the left. Let us know when you've uh, loosed your anti radiation missiles and we'll head in. What's your current heading, Cap? I just saw, I'm getting the blips on my radar. Uh, my heading's, I'm in formation. Copy, that we're pretty much in formation. Just so you know, we're still in formation. Okay, we're still in formation. Okay, we're formation. Okay, we're still in 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 formation. Okay, we're Battle spread. Starting left turn two. Three. Cap sees hostile zero two zero. Four hostiles. Cap is locked. Okay, I'm unlocking. I think they're friendlies, guys. Hey, fire three stars. When did the AWACS tell us if they were hostile? I'm on those, uh. I'm on that. See if it's a little bit of a spike. I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm locked. SA, mud spike. Do anybody know the AI AVAC is pretty pushy? Okay, should we get back on Vector, guys? I advise we start heading east, guys, um, so we can, um, well, get out and do right, the gap. We'll pass just south side of the um, friendly ground. Uh, we'll turn into 090, uh, right turn. Hold up. Recommend. 
I'm with you, the other two boys have gone their own way. Hey firm. Capcom aim his antenna down. Have you guys got the prob same problem?
seven zero times three, possibly four. Uh, yes, I see them, Roger, 80 miles. Right, let's go for them. Okay. Which target are you going for, Rage? Um, I will be going for the closest one. Roger. On right. Cap will get middle. Reagan. Saber flight, five miles to the LZ. Gonna crank to the left, Cap. Capco, ranking right. Three, this is two, power 95. Right, tanks are empty. Uh, open tanks. Yeah, Rook. Send. Four hundred. Let's turn zero nine one. Climb to thirty five. Eli just called in some bogies in that direction. Roger. Their distance out was eighty. Range target. Same bogies. Cap still on one. Forty eight miles. Uh, we're, we're about to fight. But I want to start keeping for refuel. Uh, do you have a TV? You want to just come in behind us? Uh, we will be on the chain gun after we fire. Roger. We'll take your high and cover. Roger. Do we know what type these hostiles are? Not a clue. Right, I'm getting, I'm getting a picture on my radar. Looks like two to three targets, 40 miles. I got right one locked up. Looks like mig 29s Spike. Ten of my RWR here as well. Ten, I got a from an SR ten. Okay, cap burning in to fire. Yep. Got an air target sparing. Miss our lot. Launch warning. 29 spikes as well. Spike 2-9. This is sword, we're engaged with 2 nines. Cap, Fox 3, I'm not getting out. Cap. Cap, can you code? Get on the overlap.
Rage, you're quite far out to the north, beware. Fire and get out. Okay, it's cap turning in hot. Is that you flaring, Chaos? Anyone got eyes on the contacts? I've lost them. Someone just got blown up, who was that? Roger, I'm turning cold to the overlap with you. No, they're not. I got... I'm blind on them. I'm heading towards you at Angels 18. Got tally. Cap flaring. Right. Cap flaring for IFF. Offensive. What angels did you see him at? Cap dog fight flanker. Hammer flight be advised, dude is on the uh, left side of the runway. Coming in support. Okay. With death spiraling to the ground. Hammer one is RTB to rearm. Cap Fox two. Oh, you piece of shit, aeroplane. I can't fire the fucking thing out. Cup still merge. Land, uh, one three left. Right, sorry, one three right. I see a missile trail in your direction, chap. Roger. Still dogfight. 
I can't fire the sidewinders. Trash on short files for the OT team inside. I'm G I'm on your Call six. Back. On my six? No, I'm on his six. Splash, splash, splash. Trash. Any sign of hostiles? Negative, I got no nails on radar. No nails and no radar. Roger, agree. Turn him back towards that direction, see if I can find anything. Roger, I'll back you up. Are you heading east? Roger. Okay, I'll be about 10 miles behind you. Okay, you're on you. Roger. Just got a call from AWACS. They're at 10,000. They're hot on us. Have you got a bearing? For 50 miles. Bearing 102. Roger, Joy. At 50 nautical miles from us. Okay, so do you fire these missiles with uh, weapon release or gun trigger? Gun trigger, naval aircraft gun trigger. Shit, no wonder. Roger. So you got the Angels 10? Yeah. Angels 10, 33 miles. Hey, Phil. Uh, let's get oh, them unless we're getting fired on by Sam's. Caponis is one. Do you used to see one one uh, hostel? Affirmative, only one. Again, all flights, all flights. Sabres, popcorn, plus three. Teams recovered. Good. Got a ship right we left on the ground. Copy that.
check behind him. Roger. FYI, that was not one three. Fox three. Three one. Faded. He's got the fence. I've still another target on. We're fighting. Cap ray gun. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Fox Uh, we've taken care of four flankers uh, to the east, we're now taking care of four MiG-23s, but you're clear as far as we can tell. He's evaded again. Have you got visual on him? I got visual on him. Nine miles. Roger, what's your fuel? Right up there. God, no. Uh, uh, cap, uh, 11 o'clock, another target. Uh, you did escort. Coming in, but I don't have that joy on anything. Roger. Are they all down low? Throwing to the other guy. On the fence, he's firing on me. Joy, uh, something. Good at three and down for two minutes for emergency landing. Cap ray gun. Hammer one to all flights. Recommend we use active runway one three at Batumi for landing because the nearest taxi apron is to the far end of the runway. Catbox 3. Runway of the is clear. Just beware. Beware the wreck at the end of 1 3. Catbox 3. Dragon lead has red smoke on back depth. Red smoke enemy. Captain Flight. Dragon Eden, GB 12. Sort of flight to sea again. Teams to recover normal friendlies on the ground.
Congo is down, you're clear to land. Chumi traffic, certain flight, flight of two UEs, one zero knot correction, eight nautical miles to the west, on the deck for direct approach. Choppers, come and land with the aircraft. Aircraft, leave your engines running. Welcome back, Yuris. Alright guys, set him down and we're done. Okay, troops. Well done. Yeah, Mission right, is right. complete. We've rescued the ghost team. Great job. Here are the guys that survived. Okay, it wouldn't let me um, speak on transmit radio for some reason. That's why we terminated early. But all good. Right. So. Tell me when I'll tell them I'll do those silly. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter. I've quit. Roll. I've quit now because I couldn't get my mic working. Never mind. Everyone quitting out. Right, um, so it's obviously a very complex mission. I haven't got a clue what happened, to be honest. So we're going to go through it flight by flight and try and get an idea of what happened. So, Hammers. Who was Hammers? Eagles and Tate. Right, what did you get up to? All right, we took off behind uh, Red Eye. Let them get first blood until we started getting nails from the... And... Uh, we started getting contacts from extreme range, but we were still under threat from the SAM, so we did a... I got forced to go AFK for a little bit, so I sent Graham on ahead. And then after I got back from the AFK, after about a minute, I turned back in and vectored on four bandits myself. And I believe they were also... As for Tail, I believe you have to let him explain himself. So, hang on, F-15s. We lost two F-15s. What happened to Graham? Uh, Graham was fine. Uh, we lost C uh, Cipher, Cipher to uh, crash. The Cipher crash? What happened to Graham? It, did you survive? Uh, no, I was heading toward the MiG-29s, but I knew that you and Rage were also in front of me as well, so I was waiting for an IFFQ, and then I got hit by an ET when I merged with the 29. Roger, and did Whistler survive? Affirm. Roger, and what happened to Tail, or is he Rage quit? He has rage quit. Okay. Um, um, yep. The Graham got hit by an R seventy three. Watch an attack view. Roger, close range. Yep. Okay. Um, who was Buick or the second team? It was that cat. Right, rage. You take us through it. Yeah. So um, we were flying in twos. It was chaos and rook and me and you cap. Uh, now we kind of flew a little bit too far east, but we. 
got fired on by the SA-10, uh, and we went defensive just like we should. We evaded those missiles. Um, when I turned back in, I turned on the 6 of an SU-27. Uh, now, one of the other jets were firing an ET, uh, which, of course, I would not have got an RWR alarm force, so that just slammed right into me just as I fired a missile to kill my target. So I got my target and another jet got me. Um, looking at Rook and attack view. Rook's not an RT. It was a oh, is he 27. Not Sorry, he's an RT. Uh, Rook is, yeah. Um, he got killed by uh, it was an IR uh, sorry, it was a radar missile 27 ER. Um, but he was in a tight turn, so it was in his blind spot. Wouldn't have got that on the RWR at all. And that took him out. And for Chaos and Cap, you guys went further southeast and got taken out by the SA-10. Roger. Right, so we lost two men at the, S at the Sukhoi engagement. I'm guessing there was four Sukhois. And then, embarrassingly, me and, me and Chaos got shot down by MiG-23s. Is a bit silly. No, we got shut down by Sam's. Oh, we got shut down by SA-10. By Sam's, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I don't know about you guys. I, that's the first time I've flown a Hornet in combat for about five months. I couldn't even work out how to fire the weapons, so that was a bit of a struggle for me. But never mind, I'll have to learn how to fly it again, I suppose. Tried to warn you, Cap. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do it because I haven't done it for so long, but never mind. Yeah. Um, next team, please. Aga, I suppose. Saber, us. Oh, yeah. Saber, go ahead. Uh, yeah, well, it took us some time to get there. Um, one thing I would have would have liked being in the in the rescue uh, sorry rescue helicopter in A10 identifying the survivors, but that didn't work out. So I just pushed for the target. I got an identification was pretty uneventful because we were low level all the way. The first approach needed to be aborted due to power lag, and then we got the team. Now they didn't get on board for real for whatever purposes, so I called it popcorn and departed on the way home. We spotted the BTR convoy, so we avoided that one, and the rest was uneventful, to be honest. Oh, Joe, good job. You got your mission done with no losses, like that. Um, next team, please. I was Dagger. Um, we had a slight lag spike issue, I think, um, just after we took off from Batumi, so we all ended up smashing into each other. Um, so we had to respawn at Sanaki, um, and then we moved in on to the FSB, and took out all of the targets there um, and then yeah that was pretty much it I don't know if anyone else got anything to add from our crew uh, well I went in I got the EWR and I shot a couple of uh, the vehicles at one of the um, points of interest shall we say but yeah that lag spike because we just all collided so we had to respawn a bit unfortunate when was that at the um, at the ferry or on the, on the after mission? the ferry oh really gutted it after the second takeoff, wasn't it? Yeah, we were climbing for altitude. We were in a turn. We must have been in quite close formation. Mm. Um, and then next thing I know, I was there was a massive explosion. It made me jump. Well, never mind. It happens. Um, okay. Uh, next team, please. I guess that would be uh, the 25. Red eye, yeah. Red eye flight. Uh, we, we ran into problems in the beginning. I guess we had either either a, a Harrier or a F-86 fly into us. A Harrier. Oops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we It was a Harrier because I turned around to look at my wingman and watched the Harrier fly through. His we just flew right through the number two. It was crazy. But anyway, yeah, so and then that's why the ferry was so messed up is we, we just lost each other when we tried to get away from the shrapnel. Yeah, we couldn't find any. We couldn't find the ferry at all. It just looked like a mess to us, so we just gave up on it. Yeah, it we came out of nowhere, dude. Just teams. came right from behind us and just yeah. boom, took out two. Yeah, because I was flying lead. I looked over my shoulder. One went down, and then JD went over me, and everybody split up. But other so than anyway, that, after uh, we got after down, you... go ahead. Go ahead, Raw. No, go ahead, Ren. You got it. Uh, anyway, we got targets. We we uh, we took out the SA sixes. Uh, I think I took out a few, and then. Uh, I went to RTB to rearm, and there was a wreck at the end of the... Stop me from getting the uh, secondary target. Roger. Raul, I don't know what you hit or what uh, you went after. 
Well, pretty much what happened. Uh, did you notice anything with your KH or your 58s? Because mine both sailed right over the target. I mean, they were on the direct path, but they flew over the target and didn't hit my target. That was it. I hit, I hit uh, two targets with two each. With Well, other than that, I, like I said, I engaged those. There was two vehicles on the side of the hill where we were engaging SA-8s. I was getting no more readings. I flew in, I took out two vehicles on the side of the hill, and then I'm not sure what happened. I think I got shot by AAA, but pretty much my entire plane disintegrated. That's you got shot down by <coughs> AAA, I, I think, on the attack view. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was a flash and I was dead. I thought. No, the moral of the story for us was the wreck at the end of the runway and the collision and the fair. Oh, yeah. Cap, strongly advise a tactical replay video for this mission. Yeah, I yeah. guess I will do. Not we, we hit the major targets that we needed to succeed, so that uh, that's what we're Yeah, uh, Red Eye 2 and 3, we also broke off and went after the uh, FOB just to take out those SA-9s, which uh, I think we did successfully, and then just started looking for targets of opportunity. I think the C-25s did a good job because by the time we got to the FSB there wasn't any radar threat there at all so we could just pick off targets at will uh, like Shulkers and ZU-23 so we did a good job Roger, well, okay, uh, good work guys uh, not the prettiest mission in the world but we did it and got it done so that's nice, Roger anything, last thoughts before we sign off? Cap, you poor man I see your hornet sitting in the air, hovering, just blown to shit. It's just sitting there. Yeah, they don't <laughs> like SA-10s as it turns out. I'm sorry. Thanks, Trash, for the mission. Yeah, it was a good, good, good mission. Enjoy it. Yeah, welcome. Mission All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Uh, tomorrow, whenever, whatever. Okay, okay. Thanks, Cap. Right.